Hey guys, I'm back. But just after how long am I back? I'm back after two years. For two years, I was serving in Chile for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints as a missionary. But now I'm back, guys, and I'm ready to collect coins again. But in my two years in Chile, I was still collecting coins. So today, I'm going to show you guys just what I found in those two years in Chile. So stay tuned. Alright guys, here's all the coins I found after two years in Chile. So we're going to get right in with the coins from Chile. I have lots of foreign coins, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, starting with the oldest, we got here a one peso. It's a little bit older. The oldest one I have from 1977. Then we got the next design from the one peso. And it's a... Um, a little bit different then we got the next design the next and final design and there they are um, they're a lot newer but you can't find them in circulation because of inflation so you have to get them gifted or you have to find them in the streets like I did this one so you always got to keep your eyes out anyways starting with the five pesos there's the five pesos they're also newer but you also can't find them like the one pesos because they're not in circulation. You have to either get them gifted or find them in the streets. So that's the same story. These ones are beautiful coins, my oldest coins from Chile. Not that old, but these are really cool. 1966 and I believe this one is 1969. Really beautiful. And they're not worth that much, but I'm pretty happy to have them. Um, lots of people are willing to gift you coins so you just gotta ask them or tell them that you like to coin collect coins and they'll give them to you these ones are really beautiful a little bit older angel coins really cool 10 pesos um, but now there's a newer design right here these are the newer designs of 10 pesos so yeah there you go now we're moving on to 50 50 pesos I, there's a there's a 1981 a little bit newer one with the head and there you go now we got the 100 pesos the older design there Republica de Chile now we got um, this design uh, fun fact about this new design of 100 pesos um, this is Mapuche it's it's the the natives of Chile, Argentina, and the surrounding areas. So there's lots of history with them. And now we got 500 pesos. That's the design with 500 pesos. Now we're moving on to the other foreign coins that I found. These are from Colombia. I love them. They're pretty awesome. I got some older ones and I also got some newer ones from Colombia. And so they're pretty cool. And this one I love, the bear right here. So that's pretty cool. This one's really shiny. Now we got coins from Argentina. They are pretty awesome. So really love the foreign coins, guys. Uh, I could get one from every country if it was possible. <laughs> but yeah, now we're moving on to coins from the Philippines. Well, maybe you're asking, how did I get coins from the other side of the world? Um, well, when we serve as missionaries, we serve with other people from other parts of the world. And I met another missionary from the Philippines. So he was really nice to, to give me some coins um, from the Philippines. Anyways, and so these are pretty cool. And then this one is beautiful, super new. I'm not sure how I got one. But from 2022, from Peru, 10 centimos. Um, now I've got one from Brazil, super cool. And this last one is from Venezuela, 100. So that is my entire collection over two years. Maybe you're wondering why I didn't get more. But obviously if I was like 100% in coin collecting I could get more but I wasn't a hundred percent focused I was 
really working on, on my mission. But I did get lots and lots of coins from Chile. These are more uncirculated ones, and these are like <laughs> lots of coins that I rolled up and got. Don't ask me how I got it through security. You know, it's a long story. <laughs> Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video with my coins from from other countries and especially from Chile. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to get you guys into that, tell you what, what's going on. So my next video has to do with this. Before the mission, I collected all of these copper coins. But guess what? These boxes are unopened. I believe I opened one of them, but it's not searched all the way through. Anyways, guys, stay tuned. These boxes are two years old, and I'm ready to hunt them. So, next video, we're hunting two-year-old boxes.